How are we doing, ladies and gents, boys and girls? Welcome back to another fun episode of Tom's Flair Bartending Tips. And today I've got a good one for you. We're going from a very, very, very simple move to a very, very difficult move. I'm going to show you the progression of that move. Tom Dyer! Now this is a move which probably a lot of you have done already and have tried before, but if you haven't and you're new to the channel, this is a move you can start with and one which you've probably seen people try in the past as well. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the little bell because then you'll be notified every time I upload more videos like this uh, and you'll be the first one to see these cool videos. So, the move that we're starting with is the palm spin. I'm gonna show you the very basic of this one, I'm gonna show you a couple of upgrades and then I'll show you the main one, the big upgrade at the very end. So stick around until the end to see the progression of this move. Now the palm spin is a move which has been done by flair bartenders for many, 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 many years. And you can do it with both hands. Oh, no you can't. You can do it with both hands and you can do it with your eyes closed. It's a contact move. You start off, put your hand out in front of you, or you can put it down here. Uh, and you're gonna place the middle of the tin onto your knuckle. Whoop. So once you place that middle part onto, the, onto your knuckle, you grab hold of your shaker, and that's the sort of position that you need to be in to be able to make this move. Now don't think about flicking it or throwing it like this. Essentially you wanna push the base of the shaker around. Imagine you're pushing that base of the shaker in a circle. And as you do that, you open your hand up, open the palm of your hand, let the tin spin, and as it comes around, you grab it again. All right, so you have this motion. Now if you see my hand is at a kind of a 45 degree angle, I mean if I put it completely flat, you can do it, but if it's at a slight angle, you'll find it a bit easier. And you see my hand kind of goes up a little bit to go with the motion of the shaker, uh, and I balance the shaker on my hand as I'm spinning it. And if you try it with your eyes closed, because it's a contact move, you may even find it easier. And when you get more confident, you can double spins. And I can do it better oh, with my eyes closed, you see, it's so weird. And you can do this move with many objects, the small shaker, uh, a muddler, right, uh, the glass. And of course, you can do it with a bottle as well. Okay, so the upgrade to this move is, because we've been doing the palm spin with the palm of our hand facing up, I created a move many years ago where I thought, well, what if I have my palm of my hand facing down, I want the tin to stay attached to my hand and spin around. So how did I create that? Same concept as before, place the shaker on the knuckle, close my hand. Now I turn my hand over so the tin is facing down. And what I need to do is I need to throw the tin up, but instead of throwing it up and letting it go, I need to throw it up and then keep my hand attached to the tin. So I'm essentially doing this. So the tin sticks to my hand. Then you just try and do the spin. So you, the same concept of how you do this spin, but you're gonna do it towards you now, towards you. And as you come up with that throw that you just practiced, you spin the tin, oh, and you should have a shaker which sticks to your hand and creates that palm spin upside down. Right, the next step is if you've got your tin on tin together, I'm using Tom's Tiki Tin on Tin Shaker, uh, which is available from my shop, tomdiebartender.com. There's a link in the description below where you can go and get one of these bad boys. You can do those two palm spins, which I've showed you already, this way up or upside down. But a nice one to do with the tin on tin is the double palm spin. So the double palm spin is the, exactly the same concept as what we were doing with a, a single hand, but this time using two hands and two knuckles. Holding the tin in the middle, which is about there, with one knuckle here, one knuckle there. And you're gonna do the same spin, okay? But this time, uh, you're just gonna open both hands and you're gonna hold the tins together with those two knuckles. Don't be scared if the, if the tin moves a little bit in your hands. It's only going for a full 360 and then you're grabbing hold of it. Okay, the final palm spin move is an upgrade which uh, I discovered myself many years ago. Now this move is a palm spin with 
what I call a wrap around or actually it's called a gunsling or a finger roll kind of thing. I've done videos on finger rolls and gunslings before. There's a link up there. You can go and check it out. What I'm doing with this move, I'm doing a full palm spin. Instead of catching the bottle, I'm then using my fingers to push the bottle around more and let it come around my fingers and I'm grabbing it here. First of all, you're gonna have the bottle on the bar or wherever it may be and you need to grab it like this. So thumbs down, all right? and then you're gonna grab it in the middle of the bottle. Turn your hand over so the palm of your hand is facing up. Now, you wanna start practicing the palm spin with the bottle, first of all. So when you're spinning the bottle here, you're gonna grab it there and your palm of your hand is still facing up. Now this is the tricky part, where you need to bring your hand over, so the fingers go up, and you're turning your hand over, the bottle spins around your fingers, and then you grab it in your hand like this. So it comes around, and grabs like that. So I recommend as you do half, you turn your hand over, and then you try and do the other half. The more confident you get, you should be able to do the move quite comfortably. It's about moving your hand in the correct way to get the bottle to fly around your hand. Oof. It's a really nice move to use in a routine. So you're doing just some simple connection moves, and then you're over this side, you come around. Looks pretty good, I think you will agree. So a quick recap. So we had the palm spin, then we had the upside down palm spin, uh, then we had the double palm spin, here it is. Uh, and then we had the super deluxe massive wrap around the hand, palm spin upgrade. Cool, I hope you liked this video. I hope this was interesting for you. I hope you liked the moves. Please give them a shot. Let me know how you get on and give me a tag on Instagram, Tom Dyer Bartender. Uh, come and give me a follow. And if you like the video, don't forget to drop me a comment down below what you think and give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and all that lovely stuff. And thank you very, very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, see you then.